Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today we are going to make a card. I have pieces and parts all gathered together. Um, the card was actually a part of the In Full Bloom digital art collection. This was in the previous catalog. I believe you can still get it online. The collection is $9.95 and I think if you put in In Full Bloom this will show up. This is not a Cricut specific collection. This is a digital art collection which means you can use it on um, a brother scanning cut or a silhouette or I use it on a Cricut because that's what I have. But I love all those little images and what we're going to make is this card. And I love it because it's all done for me. It's all figured out. So I thought it would be fun to put that together. I do have an envelope, a card base, and I am actually going to build the card on the front of a panel, which I cut to four by five and a quarter. And that will sit on the front of the card. I also pulled in the stamp of the month for May. This is brand new. You can do anything. Lovely sentiments on here. And I'm going to use this You Matter in this world. I'm going to split that sentiment up. There's this little tiny little banner piece here. I think we'll tackle this first and get that out of the way. I'm going to use black ink. And I'm going to, I'm going to mask off. Oh, I think I could probably get after it. Um, I, oh, and I forgot I wanted to do a little bit of, got to water down my rag here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot that that sucker had dried out on me. But anyway, I'm going to take a post-it. I'm laying it across the words that I do not want to stamp on my little piece here. I'm going to do a little stamping, inking, and then, very important, remove. I'm going to line this up and down, and hopefully, there it goes. So I've got the You Matter. I'm going to wipe this off. And then when I get to the inside of the card, I am going to mask off the You Matter part. So I'm going to grab my card base and we'll ink up the In This World. So here we go, ink, ink, ink. Pull this off. And in this world. And that worked really, really nicely. Um, and I'm going to wipe this off. I find that that stamp chamois with the water works really well to clean the ink off of the stamps so you don't end up with the shadow of your previously inked um, image. Tuck that back so I don't lose it. I'm going to set this back over here out of the way and close this up before disaster strikes and get it put away. The next thing I need to do is take my Glacier ink and I think I will do it this way because I'm right-handed here. So I'm going to take my little handle and I've got a, a pad that I use for Glacier and I'm going to Start on my mat. I have my um, all-purpose mat, and I'm going to do a little ink blending just to give a little texture and background. And the other thing you can do is just tap it off in the lid. And I'm bringing that ink up. And you can go as heavy or as light as you want. I think the key is to, to be a little lighter handed and do multiple layers. I think that gives you the best results. 
and I'm going diagonally from the upper right down to the lower left. And I am going to take my tool here, my ink blender tool, and I'm going to do a little ink blending on the edge. And I think that's it for that. And you can see what it'll look like when I put it on here. And you can see that edge shows up nice and sharp. All right, next is building all of the little goodies. We have, I think we'll bring my panel back here. I think I'm going to use a little glue. And I'm going to glue down. eyeballing it, just trying to center it. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add the sentiment. Uh, I could pop it up, but I think I'm going to keep it flat. I think I'm going to want to mail this, and it's just easier on the postage. I'm going to set it right up here. That way I'll know where I put my butterfly. And here's the big old butterfly. And I'm going to do some glue. And hit the highlights and the low lights and all the lights. And get it lined up on the this is glacier, the lighter side of glacier for the background of the butterfly. And the glue gives me a little time to wiggle it around to get it set. And I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to glue this down. Then we have these cute little flower pieces. I have this and I have this guy. So I think I'm going to get those in place. And like so. Then we need to do these delicate little bad boys here. And I need to <laughs> twist it around until I figure out which way it goes. go on the other side. Yes, it does. It's on the darker side. So if I lay it down like this, flip this like this, add some glue, some dots. The glue dries clear, so I'm not too worried about the glue. Flip it back over. Get it going on there. glue smoosh but that'll be fine. It also it has the smoother of the two metals so I am going to use the smoother of the two metals. Put that there. Same deal here I have to do a little searching to make sure I've got this going on the same way and I'm going to set it down and just flip it just like that. That way I'm not twisting it so that it's not lined up when I flip it back over. Bit of glue. 
a little quickie glue pen might be a, a great option for this little delicate um, edging, but I don't have one of those. I haven't invested in one yet. Tell me in the comments if you have one and if you like it. If it's something you think I need to have. Okay, and this one has a little fluffier inside, so I'm going to use this one on here. Just like that. And these can go on here. You could pop them up. I am just going to opt for glue, again, to minimize how thick it is for mailing purposes. But if you were going to hand deliver this, it could certainly add a lot of dimension. Just like that. So the panel is ready. Flip it over and add some glue. And you get it glued onto the front of my card base. Leaving that little margin all the way around. Adds a little more dimension to it without a lot of bulk. So there we go. We've got that put together. And of course, you know me, I love my clear shimmer brush. And I'm going to hit a few highlights on the butterfly and the flowers. Just a little here and there. Lovely. Here. Here we go. Let's see if we can show that shimmer. There it is. You can see that prettiness. Oh, so lovely. Those digital cut files, they are a wonderful thing. Look at look at those. Um, there is one in the newest catalog that just started today. I will show you as part of this first one. I thought this was really cute here. This is a digital art collection. I'm really intrigued by these hearts, that uh, background overlay on a scrapbook page. I think that's really cool. And, and this birthday card looks quite fun and it is a slimline style. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day and I'll see you next time.